So, holy shit, big news just hit from the production group from Daredevil Season 2. A lot of people have been kind of speculating on this for a while. A lot of people have been, like, saying, uh, maybe it'll happen, maybe, uh, it won't. Maybe they'll do more stuff with the hand. But no, they just announced that Frank Castle, the Punisher, will be in Daredevil Season 2. And not only that, he's going to be a main focus of Daredevil Season, of the second season. They released not only, like, a, like, who is going to, the actor who was chosen to play him, which I'll get to in a second because it's really creepy who they picked, and in a good way, and I'll explain why. But first, they released a little teaser pic of it, and it's basically the Daredevil symbol from the TV show, but it's riddled with bullets. So it looks like that Frank is going to play a huge part in Daredevil Season 2. Now, a lot of people were kind of hoping maybe he'll get his own TV show, and maybe he'll get his own Netflix series, or he'll show up here, and I'm thinking that's what's probably going to happen, is that he's going to show up here, and then he's going to spin out and get his own TV show. Because they've actually... I don't know how much of this is real or not, but apparently Marvel talked to Kurt Sutter, and that's the guy from the show uh, Sons of Anarchy, who it, and they kind of and they kind of in talks with him for a few times. I don't know if that was true or not, or they're still talking to to Sutter because Sutter's a very busy man right now. <laughs> so I so it's a possible so maybe that was the show they were talking to him about. But yeah, that was all just a uh, rumor. I'm hoping because Kurt Sutter on a Punisher TV show would be nothing but goddamn amazing. So anyway, let's get into the actor who has been cast as Frank uh, as Frank Castle. Who is the Punisher? It's John Bernthal, or Brenthal. I cannot pronounce that name. But most of you guys, that's the actor who played Shane in The Walking Dead. Yeah, that guy. And it's so weird, too, because I've actually talked about this on my channel a few times, of how that actor, John Brenthal, would make an amazing Punisher. Oh my god, was someone listening to that? <laughs> was someone over at Marvel like, yeah, let's get that guy. <laughs> Because John Brenthal, after he left Walking Dead, and he's been in other stuff before Walking Dead, but I think that was the thing that really shot his career out. Because he's been in a lot of other stuff. Obviously with, uh, what was it, that other show by Frank Darabont? I can't remember. It was the noir story. I cannot remember. And it was really good, too. And I, God, I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, it was like L.A., yeah, L.A. Noir. That was it. I think that's the name of it. And recently he's been in, you know, Wolf of Wall Street. He's been in the, you know, the, what... The uh, other movie called Fury, not Fury Road, just Fury, the, mo the tank movie. Uh, and there's been several other things that, you know, he's done, you know, he's done. And that's re it's really made him very popular. And I've always said that, he, you know, uh, John Brenthal had this very big, very rough-and-tumble kind of look to him. He looks like Frank Castle, when you think about it. And don't get me wrong, I would have loved to see Thomas Jane come back, or... Well, obviously, you can't get, uh... <laughs> you can't get Ray Stevenson, because he's playing a, a fat guy in, in Asgard right now. <laughs> But I would have loved it. Would I have chosen, you know, to have Thomas Jane come back? Oh, yeah, I would have loved to have Thomas Jane come back. Um, but you know what? <laughs> John Bren Having John uh, Brenthal uh, play this character is really cool. I think this is a, I think this is a really awesome idea from, uh, from Marvel. Because, again, he looked like... This is a guy you could see as the Punisher. I've always said he could play the Punisher. And I thought he was a very interesting... Uh, I thought I think he's a very good... I think he's perfect casting. Because, again, a lot of the characters you see him play are these very take-no-shit, uh, very gritty, very um, mentally disturbed kind of characters. And, you know, violent... The Most of the characters he's played in, in, in most TV shows and movies is this very... Uh, just aggressive kind of character, and that's who you want for Frank Castle, someone who's uh, aggressive, but at the same time, you know, he's a little, uh, you know, he's he, he calls himself sane, but at the same time, he kind of knows, yeah, I'm just doing this because it's gonna, you know, this is my, I'm at war again. So, the big question is, from what we can gather from that teaser is how much of Frank Castle is going to be in here, you know? How much... It, well, it looks like, obviously, you have the, the frickin' Punisher here, so obviously he's going to play a big role. But how much is the big question? How much of uh, the Punisher's actions are going to be in here? I would not be surprised if they tried doing the... Uh, oh, God, what was the name of that story? Uh, that Bendis did between Punisher and... Or, no, it was Kevin Smith that did that story, Damn it! I cannot. Re Why am I blanking out on so many on so much stuff? Oh my god! But yeah, there was a uh, there was a really good story by either I think it was either Bendis or Miller. Now that I think about it, 
between that uh, kind of that kind of really balanced out how you know Daredevil and Punisher are the exact opposite of them set of each other, but they're kind of like the 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 two sides of the same coin when you think about it, and it perfectly explains that. When you think about it, Punisher and Daredevil are a lot alike. They both want absolute justice for the you know against the wicked and you know to protect the innocent. However, Daredevil kind of walks that line between, you know, going to that, you know, going to that darkness, while Frank is perfectly fine living within that darkness. And it's a very, they have a very good clash of wills in here. Now, the one way you could look at this is that punish, you know, the pun, uh, that, uh, excuse me, let me back up. That what has probably brought the Punisher out, uh, you know, out into the open is that, uh, with, with with Fisk gone, organized crime is all over the place, and you could have it that, you know, now there's nothing but random mobs and gangsters running around Hell's Kitchen trying to vie for power with Fisk in jail, and this is what caused the Punisher to either be made, because we don't know how long the Punisher's been around. We don't really know if, you know, this is just Frank, Punisher year one with Frank Castle, or the Punisher's been around and he's just, you know, he's either given up on his war and now he's coming back into the fray, or, you know, he's been doing this from the shadows. Because we don't really know how long Frank has been doing this in this continuity. For all we know, this show could be like a back... We, this show could be one big... This season, excuse me, could be one big backstage pilot to doing the Punisher ongoing series, which I kind of want at the same time I don't, because this is Daredevil. This is Matt's show right here. I don't mind, you know, having the, such a big character of the Marvel Universe have a big play in here, but don't make it all about him. Don't make Matt Murdock, you know, second stage to his own show. But yeah, that's the big question, is that how long has Frank Castle been, been the Punisher? Is this going to be the birth of the Punisher or the return of the Punisher? Because for all we know, Punisher's been around, maybe the Punisher was around uh, before, you know, this insurgence of superheroes, you know, before the arrival of Iron Man and whatnot. Maybe Frank Castle was, you know, around in the 80s or the early 90s, and that was a, a younger Frank who was off being the Punisher, and maybe you could have it that uh, Ben Urich was around, you know, following the Punisher as he was taking down the mob. That would be a really cool idea. You could bring back Ben Urich without, revo you know, resurrecting him. You could still have that character, but in the past, and following around Frank Castle. And you could do a lot of gritty crime drama, because there was some mention of, you know, stuff in Miami that went down that Yurik was a part of. They kind of allude to it in the series, and maybe you could have it that, pun you know, Yurik followed Frank down to Miami and watched him kill all these drug lords. <laughs> So I think that would be a I think that could be a really cool idea to have a more older, more haggard, more just kind of just really jaded Frank Castle because he's been doing this for so long, and now along comes this mask who more or less has caused more problems than he ha you know than he did good. Even though he locked up the kingpin, now shit has officially hit the fan, and everyone's now swarming uh, all these different gangs and crime lords are now swarming over throughout New York, and now Frank's come back into the fray, and now Daredevil has to put him down, you know, has to, has to take him down. So that's what I'm really interested about. The other thing is that, are we going to see some, are we going to see Microchip? Are we going to see, you know, uh, Jigsaw? Are we going to see, you know, so many other characters from Punisher's uh, career. We don't, you know, that's what I'm really curious about. Are, are we going to see Microchip and Jigsaw in this series? Is Jigsaw going to be one of the gangsters? Is, you know, Billy Russo going to be, you know, one of the gangsters that is now trying to vie for, you know, Fisk's power? Now that he's out of the way, maybe have it that Jigsaw is, you know, tr is the leading gangster trying to get all the power that, that, uh, Fisk left behind, and he, after he got sent to prison, and that's what's the big driving force for Frank Castle to come back, if this is you know his return or whatever. So that's going to be real. So this is going to be really interesting. I thought they would do more hand stuff. I thought they were going to go for more hand centric stuff for season two, and for all intents and purposes, they could easily do more hand stuff for this series. They could easily do more hand centric stuff for this series. Not saying they're they're not gonna, but it looks like you know the main. It, 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 yeah, we could see more build up with the hand, and they could be another main focus or the secondary focus. But from it, from just that little 
image of pun of the Daredevil image riddled with bullets, it looks like the main focus is going to be the kind of clash of ideals between Daredevil and Punisher. And admittedly, that sounds really awesome. I would like to see more stuff with the hand, and again, they could easily go down that route of doing more hand-centric stuff, but, you know, having one big season of just Punisher and Daredevil clashing and or teaming up throughout this season, man, <laughs> I'm really jazzed up for that. So I am, again, just in total freaking awe right now that, you know, a lot of people have been kind of speculating, is Punisher either going to show up in Daredevil, or is he going to get his own TV series? Again, this could easily mean that this is going to showcase the Punisher, and then he's going to get his own spin-off micro, his own spin-off Netflix series, and then lead more into Defenders. And for all we know, Punisher may not just be the only one showing up in Daredevil. For all we freaking knew, uh, for all we freaking know, Moon Knight could show up in here. So, again, the possibilities are endless in this series, so I am more than jazzed up to see this. Uh, John Brenthal, I think, is going to kill it as Frank Castle, and I think this is just going to be absolutely amazing uh, to see, because again, and yeah, I'm really excited for this series. And again, a few people kind of talked about, oh, what about, you know... Uh, Bullseye being ca possibly cast in this show as, J you know, Jason Statham apparently... Well, that was from a... a few people didn't really confirm that, and then, you know, Jason Statham was like, ah, anyone can be in a Marvel movie. I don't want to be in one. Alright. Oh, well. <laughs> well, it looks like we may still get Bullseye in this season, and that might be cool, and that will be... And not might, will be cool to see as well. Anyway. So you guys... Uh, but anyway... That's beside the point, because we got Punisher in this show now! Yay! So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of Punisher being a, looks like what looks like to be a major point in in Daredevil Season 2? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? What do you think of John Brenthal, or Bernthal? I cannot pronounce that last name for the life of me. Uh, what do you think of the casting for uh, for Frank Castle? And what do you think, and how much of a role do you think Frank Castle's going to be? And what do you think his story's going to be as well? Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this vid, and I will see you guys later.